everyone welcome back to our channel go for agriculture so in today's lecture we'll be talking about the basic concept or the basic term of economics it's public revenue so many members know about what is a public revenue and sometimes we get confused also so let's clear that doubt today so let's start with a lecture public revenue so public revenue ka matlab kya hai it is the income of the government from different sources so if the government get its money from some sources so iske mein sources ka matlab hai taxes fines fees so fees ka matlab uh, passport fees or the fees we pay in order to get the license so these government acts jo hai ya a government schemes in which we have to pay them the money these are the sources through which government will get its income so this income of the government from different sources is called as public revenue okay so these sources include taxes goods and service of the public enterprise like the sales tax gst and the fines and fees and gift and grants so grants ka matlab hai funds so for example in case of any kind of natural calamity if one state give some funds to the another state we will call those funds as called as grant okay so these are the basic sources through which the government will get its income so the income of the government is called as public revenue so these uh, income which the government will get they will use it for the public expenditure only like for the common benefit like for the building of roads or helping the people means these all are the public expenditure okay so next are sources of the public revenue the major source is the tax only basically tax and price is also there but the major source is a tax so now we'll see the tax so it's of two types tax revenue and non tax revenue so we know tax means it is uh, we pay the money to the government so in this tax revenue means so the government will collect the money from us to provide the common benefit because the government it can't earn money we should provide the government the money so that they will use it for the common purpose or they will use it to help the people so this is the tax revenue so if we see the types of tax revenue it's of two types direct taxes and indirect taxes so direct tax ka matlab hai it is paid by a single person means for example income tax we know income tax is paid by a single person only so what is income tax first of all so income tax means the person will show the government that his income is not above the limit so if so so basically the finance ministry it will uh, keep the basic income of a person at a particular limit only so that person he will show the government that my income is till the limit so this is the income tax so these income tax is paid by a single person only so that is why it is called as direct tax next we'll see the types of direct tax first is the personal income tax as of rule it is paid by a single person itself next is the corporate tax so corporate tax means it is basically um paid by the registered companies so if there is a company there will be a profit to that company and that profit should be at the limit only means in case of money so that company they will show the government that either they got that profit from the legal way or the illegal way like sometimes we'll see in movies that the income tax ride is going to happen in our company so this is what the corporate tax means next is the capital gains tax so sometimes we will invest our money in some the uh things like stock market real estate gold jewelry right so capital gain tax it is basically applied to the money which is earned through these kind of investments so if a person if he gains the profit by investing his money in the stock market real estate gold jewelry so 
to this kind of profit capital gain tax is applied next is wealth or property tax so the uh, so the people they should show the government that the properties they are owned so 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 they should prove the government that these are owned legally only so if they uh, caught by uh, getting the uh, getting the money illegally so the income tax they will take all those money i guess we have seen these kind of taxes also in movies also right like the land buildings shares gold jewelry right so these are the example of wealth or property tax and the other tax include the gift tax or the estate duty okay so these are the types of direct taxes so once again i am repeating personal income tax means it is paid by a single person only like a common man corporate tax means it is uh, applied to the registered companies and the capital gain tax means it is applied to the profit which they earned through the investments in the stock market or the real estates etc and the wealth or property tax means we should show the government how much properties we have or the how much properties we own like land buildings bonds shares etc and the other taxes okay so these are the types of direct tax next are indirect taxes so the direct tax are paid by single person only like in indirect tax they are paid by group of persons like for example sales tax gst so we know the sales tax and gst it is applied to each and every person either it can be a common man or it can be a vip so the sales tax or the gst they are applied to each and every person and each and every person they should pay the sales tax at any cost so so if you ever go to shopping or and if you ever see the bill so there will be a sales tax i mean the gst mentioned like it is this much so it is applied to the group of people like many people everyone should pay it this is the indirect tax like in direct tax may it is applied to a single person only because it is based on his income how did he get that money ठीक है सो दिस इज द डायरेक्ट टैक्स एंड इनडायरेक्ट टैक्स का मतलब है इट इज अप्लाइड टू ग्रुप ऑफ पीपल सो द नेक्स्ट इज टाइप्स ऑफ इनडायरेक्ट टैक्सेस सो दे आर ऑफ एक्साइज ड्यूटी मीन्स बेसिकली इफ दिस इंडस्ट्री एंड इफ द मैन्युफैक्चर इज द पर्सन हु मैन्युफैक्चर ही शुड आई मीन दिस एक्साइज ड्यूटी टैक्स इज इट इज अप्लाइड टू दोज मैन्युफैक्चर because they should show the value of the goods okay so this is basically paid by the consumers itself so if you ever see the like any food product you do or any uh, product ya ya commodity so you will observe this next is the customs duty so this is applied to the import and export of goods like how much has been importing and how much has been exporting and how much money is being involved in this next is value added tax so basically this is a part of a sales tax only and and also we know what is a sales tax so when we sell or uh, sorry when we sell or when we purchase any kind of product we should pay the government in the name of gst or sales tax okay so you may think what happens to this money when we uh, pay it in the name of gst so if you buy a product within a state so that money will go to the state government if you buy it like in the interstate that money will go to the central government so at the end the money should go to the government itself because it's a public revenue this is how the government will earn the money right uh, next is a non tax revenue so basically uh, in the tax revenue we know the government will get the money from a particular sources like the gst i mean the sales tax or the in income tax but in non tax revenue the government will get the money from those sources which are not the sources of tax means uh, like in case of fines uh, ya yeah, funds okay so these two are good examples of non tax revenues so in tax revenue there are some sources we know like the uh, in, in income tax sales tax excise duty 
right so the government will get money from these kind of sources as i mentioned above lekin non tax revenue mein sources to different hoga means non tax revenue include the sources which are not the sources of tax revenue like fines fines to source nahi hai tax revenue ka so this is why the fines is one of the sources of the non tax revenue and the funds we get means the as i've told you before in case of a natural calamity if a state donates some money in, in the name of funds to the another state we'll call it as grant okay so so these are the fine examples of the non tax revenues okay so if we see the classification of this non tax they are classified as administrative revenues commercial and grant and gift so administrative revenues means uh, these are the uh rules which are imposed by the government like the fines we pay like if we cross the rules we should pay the fines so this is the example of administrative revenues and the fees also like if you want to get a passport or if you want to get a license you should pay some money to the government these are also examples of administrative revenues next are commercial revenues so commercial revenues means um uh, these are the kind of the products which belong to the government itself like railway railway is a government thing but if you want to get a train or if you want to get a train ticket you are buying it so buying it ka matlab you are giving them money and also sometimes oil right so these are uh, typically belong to the government itself even though we are giving them money so this is called as commercial revenues and grant and gift means as i've told you funds okay so so these are the uh, classification of non tax so once we'll see the tax revenues also so that you won't get confused ha huh. so so as i've told you in the tax revenue it is direct means income tax hai aur non tax revenue uh, sorry in the uh, indirect tax mein sales sales tax gst so in this case mein basically private sectors involved honge लेकिन नॉन टैक्स रेवेन्यूज में डायरेक्टली गवर्नमेंट इज इन्वॉल्व इवन द गवर्नमेंट इज इन्वॉल्व ऑल्सो वी आर पेइंग द मनी सो दिस इज द मेन डिफरेंस वी कैन से बिकॉज फाइंस लाइसेंस फीस पासपोर्ट फीस ये सब गवर्नमेंट है एंड द रेलवेज ये भी गवर्नमेंट है और ठीक है सो दीज आर द मेन एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ नॉन टैक्स रेवेन्यूज द ग्रांट एंड गिफ्ट ऑल्सो मीन्स द फंड विच वी गेट ठीक है so if we see the grant as i've told you before it's like a one state government is giving some money to the another state government or to the directly to central theek hai ye hai grant and and also donations also like prime minister relief fund like in case of any natural calamities we will donate the money i mean the particular state will donate the money to another state these are the gifts and donations and grant next are fees like if you want to get a passport or any license or uh, like to run a company or even the driving license also nothing happens for free you should give some money to the government so this is the fees next are fines and penalties you all know that so what you got to know is in this non tax revenues basically government is involved or it is run by the government even though we are paying them the money so this is a gov- uh, government will get its income in non tax lekin tax revenues mein we will give them the money means uh, it is completely depend on us like like in the income tax isme government involved nahi hai it's your income even though you are giving the money to the government theek hai so so this is the main difference between the tax and the non tax revenues and these are the examples of the non tax revenues Okay, so this is it, guys. Thank you for watching. And in this lecture, we have covered the basic term of the public revenues. We know sometimes we get confused between the economic terms. So if you have any queries, you can ask us on our Instagram page, or you can post in the comment section. And also, you can download this PPT from our Telegram channel, Go for Agriculture. And if you like this video, please subscribe to our video so that you will get the daily notifications of the videos we upload. So thank you for watching till then take care bye bye